something like this. Got some of the natural surroundings here. Oh, I like this. Hey everybody, Tommy for Tom's Road Trip and I am in North Carolina and I'm visiting the North Carolina Aquarium at Pine Canal Shores. This is one of three aquariums that are associated with the state of North Carolina. This is the largest of the three. Hopefully I will be able to visit the other two facilities uh, in the sometime along uh, my travels through North Carolina. Most likely it will not be this year, but I'll try to fit them in sometime uh, in the, the near future. I am excited to be here. This is kind of a, a, a bonus stop as my drive from Florida up to New York is very long and I wanted to kind of break it up a little bit. So. I'm uh, going to show you some information about pricing and hopefully find a map and we're going to explore this place. Here's pricing. Adults $12.95 plus tax. Oh yeah, look at this alligator. <laughs> Alright, so we got a map here. Now there are a lot of school groups here right now as it is the end of the school year. So there might be some noise. But usually the younger kids are very, very good once they're in their tour groups. Did you have restrooms right here at the beginning? Got the mountains first. Got Smoky Mountain Falls. That's a lot of water. And it all begins here. The great name sand in your shoe may have come from the mountain peak. Represented. All right, next up we got Crooked Creek and Mountain Minnows. Gosh, we're gonna see some Creek Chub Sucker, Black Nose Dace, Rosy Side Dace. 
Creek Chub, Mirror Shiner, Central Stone Roller, Bluehead Chub, Long Nose Dace, Yellowfin Shiner, White Shiner, War Paint Shiner, and Swallow Tail Shiner. Lots and lots and lots of little fish. That is impressive. And you can see it from up above also. Oh, the fishes! Yay! My cats would absolutely love this tank. Different fish to look at. The very curious kitty cats. Nice froggy photo op here. All the little kids were climbing all over them. Got species diversity. That's what North Carolina has. So Hellbender. Again, this tank right here. And some more little fish they got in here. These are the darters. Not the little ones are the different darters. Let's see all around. And the hellbender is going to be right here, kind of curled up a little bit. And more of the darters on top. Got this really nice looking tank. Oh, we're going to see some lake sturgeon. Got this fantastic habitat. 
North Carolina has more species of salamanders than anywhere else in the world. Let's get northern red salamander, black bellied salamander, red eft, blue ridge dusky salamander, dusky salamander, three line salamander, and there are mouth toad. Let's see one of the salamanders. Salamander there. A couple of other ones in the rock crevices. Look at this tank right here. Looks like it would be a representation of a typical backyard. We got green tree frog, squirrel tree frog. Eastern Spadefoot Toad and Common Gray Tree Frog. Oh, I see them on the bottom, yeah, the rock. So frogs breathe through their nostrils. GCE Froggy right here. You see him right there? Look at this. Another froggy there on the bottom. A small rounded tank. A broken striped newt. And I do see it swimming around. It was a swimming around. Okay, I see one right there. This is nice. We got leopard frog and pickerel frog. Interesting, try and find the frogs. Even though the actual tank itself is not large because the, the background is a picture re representation. Possible they are down here in the water. Yeah, just not seeing them. Let's see. Froggies can blend in very, very well with their surroundings. Got Fairway Pond. And we got Weed Eater. Probably name it Grass Carp. So we got Koi. Goldfish. Not to be confused with the cracker. And a Grass Carp. Three of these fish are different types of carp. Even the goldfish, all the koi. And the grass carp are these longer gray-scaled fish. That's a pretty looking fish right there. We got Falls Lake Reservoir and Largemouth. 
says the name says it all. Fish worth fighting for. Need some blue catfish. Channel catfish. Hybrid striped bass. Largemouth bass. Common carp. Striped bass. And white bass. Is a big fish right there. We got river otter. Got playtime. Sleeping again. They're fast. They're over there, they're over here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Always enjoy the river otters. This guy's got a fantastic habitat. You got nice stuff to swim in and just lots of space, slides. There's your other side. Lots more water. Here we go. Swimming in the water. Try to get a view for you. Camels are incredibly fast. Right over both of them. Here we go. Here we go. There he is. Here we go. Check out the the screen over there. There are different otters. Got the sea otter, the giant otter, North American river otter, Asian small clot otter, and spotted neck otter. I think the spotted neck otter is the only one that I've never seen before. Will you otter know? Yeah, these river otters have a fantastic habitat. So this screen here goes to their evening habitat. So that's what you're kind of looking at. Trying to show them. It's how fast they go. And you got some more space in the back. You might be getting some type of food back there, or one of the workers in the back. Got an Eastern Screech Owl. Oh wow, I love 
love these birds. This one's sleeping. And you got another one. Also napping. So when you come to places like this or zoos, you never want to tap on the glass. Unfortunately, I do see people doing that, and it's unfortunately it's usually the adults that should know better. Especially when you see the animals sleeping. You don't want to harass the animals. Especially when they are sleeping. The animals are not here to perform for you. This is their home, so don't disturb them when they're sleeping. Look with your eyes. So show you the map again. This is where we started. Right here, right by the otters. So we go in here to the Coastal Plain Gallery next and work our way through everything else. All right, Coastal Plain next. The kudos for conservation. We got Beaver Dam Creek. We got Turtle Territory. We got Yellow Belly Slider. Red Eared Slider. Eastern River Cooter. Spiny soft shell turtle. And here we got some green sunfish. Red breast sunfish. And red ear sunfish. Like this habitat. Got a couple of our turtles right up above. Do we got him in the water? Oh, swimming around. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So we got an albino. That's pretty neat. Got all the nice fish in there. Guys, There's a sign here that says turtles can bite. Please do not touch. The journey to the Orinoco. We got meet the crocs. Can you spot a croc? I got to see these crocodiles up in St. Augustine recently. Got to 
the St. Augustine Alligator Farm. Species in danger. Oh, I love this guy's habitat. Here we go. That's a good looking little crocodile. Critically threatened, it's typically due to habitat loss. And that's due to humans, unfortunately. Got scale giants. Got change for Crocs. Got River Rhymes. Alligator success. Got Roadside Wonders. And Ditch Dwellers. It is. Yeah. He's a greater siren. Spotted turtle. And a blue spotted sunfish. And a spotted turtle, of course. And a greater siren. So cool. It's even in ditches, you know, small little waterways can have an abundance of different type of life. Just never know. We've got Bear Creek Farm. It's a northern pine snake. And corn snake. And this is basically a representation of what a typical farm would look like outside. See the corn snakes. A nice one. And this beautiful snake right here is the northern pine snake, which is threatened. These are great snakes to have around because you would control rodent populations. And they are non-venomous, so they're not dangerous to people. So, so, so cool. Gotta love the snakes. Well, you don't gotta. I like snakes. You might not, but, you know. It's a big corn snake right there. Now, right, we got Cypress Swamp. And Long Noses. And Blackwater. So we're going to see some bowfin. Long nose gar. Got snapping turtle. Black curry. Oh, this is nice. Recreation of a nice cypress swamp. As you see all the gar. Oh, there's our alligator snapping turtle. Turtle 
back there. See his tail. Come on, Terry, get out of the way. Yeah. If you don't know who Terry Gar is, you know, it, I'm, I'm too old. <laughs> We also have a March Boardwalk Outdoor Exhibits and Hoffman Nature Trail. Right out the doors here. I'm restoring a legacy. All right, so for the safety of the eagles, they are temporarily off habitat as they've had uh, bird flu cases with the wild birds. So it is much better to have caution you know, for these animals rather than put them in danger. But this is their habitat. See how beautiful the birds are. Yes, this area is a nice boardwalk. And there's a nice cool breeze right out here at the water. Marsh ecosystems. The marshes provide a wealth of benefits. Marsh Partners. And how resilient is your community? So again, very nice boardwalk. Gives you nice views of this coastal marsh. Very windy out right now. It tells me we might be getting some rain in this area. Perhaps sometime today. This is what I like about North Carolina and their aquariums. Each of the three aquariums features a different area of the state. Got box turtles. More information on the box turtles. And even more info. The eastern box turtle. This is the box turtle habitat. However, I'm not sure if they are outside right now. Yeah, I'm not seeing them. We got snakes, hidden habitants of the maritime forest. Got snake venom's medicinal value. Very, very important. I've seen snake milking demonstrations before. This definitely saves lives. Fear not. Got the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. 
classic sneak. Now, Eastern Diamondback rattlesnakes are sometimes twice the size of the Western Diamondback rattlesnake. And these are also the most venomous snake in the United States. And they're found all throughout North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and of course into Florida. And we got Cottonmouth. Ooh. Lord have mercy. You very, very nice something. looking you snake. This one over here. This one over here. Very nice this looking snake. Look, there's a snake. In North Carolina's chair. venomous snakes. See, you should have seen Nothing right here. Right yeah. Here. <gasps> Got a Carolina pygmy rattlesnake. Do you like these snakes habitats? There we go, right here. There we go. Just underneath. There we go. We got a mole king snake. Alright, so I am looking for the mole king snake. And because of the type of vegetation that is in here, I'm gonna guess that the snake is gonna be somewhere in the back here. So I do not see this snake, unfortunately. That's why anytime you are in areas such as this out in the woods you want to be very cautious and be aware of your surroundings most of the times anytime you come across a snake they're gonna move but if you step on one of these snakes they're gonna instinctively bite you and the chance of getting envenomated by the snake depends on a lot of variables on the snake's age. The younger snakes are going to inject all of their venom into you all at once because they haven't learned to not do that. So what I'm saying basically is be aware of your surroundings. Got a copperhead. Oh yes. These are very, very pretty looking snakes. Also got these all throughout the Carolinas. Basically this whole southeastern United States. Sound shares highly venomous snakes. Got Belcher's sea snake. Island Tapin. Death Adder. A black mamba, eastern brown snake, blue crate, got a tiger snake, a Philippine cobra, and a saw scaled viper. If you notice, quite a few of these most venomous snakes. Are located in Australia. We got Snake Sense, Fact or Fiction, yeah, a lot of people think snakes are slimy.
right, so the boardwalk has a little extension where you can come right out onto the water. Got Diamondback Terrapin. Got the web of life. Plants on the marsh. Again, very, very windy out. Some of the birds that are common for this area. We've got osprey, belted kingfisher, least tern. And you got common tern, marsh wren, herring gull, ring billed gull, laughing gull, barn swallow, red winged blackbird, got white ibis, great egret, snowy egret. Tri-colored heron, great blue heron, black crowned night heron, glossy ibis, brown pelican, double crested cormorant, and fish crow. All right, so the majority of those birds that I just mentioned are also seen all throughout Florida. There are a few here that I don't commonly see in Florida. So, nice mixture, different climate here. Uh, it definitely gets cooler than it does in Florida. Like right now, it's kind of in the 60s. We're in Florida. It's in the upper 80s, lower 90s. So quite a big difference. All right, we're back inside. So next up is Tidal Waters. Here we got Ocean's Nursery. A hidden world. Food Fest. Alright, got Bogue Sound Salt Marsh. Got Diamondback Terrapin. Crested Blenny. Spotfin Mohara. Striped mullet, Atlantic spade fish, striped hermit crab, spot, silver perch, Florida pompano, And sheep's head minnow. Ooh, I like this tank. Look at that. Oh man. Lots and lots and lots of fish. So these fish kind of chase each other. There we go. Terrapin. Got seahorses. Got line seahorse.
I also got dusky pipefish and northern pipefish. Here we go. I like the way their little, little wings flutter and they wrap their tails around the, the reeds there to hold on. The other fish. Very cool. Got oyster rock reef. Got eastern oyster. You see orange file fish, feathered blenny, striped burfish, look down, belted sandfish, and silver perch. Here we go. I always like these types of fish. Mm, nice one, nice one too. And lockdowns get their name because as they are swimming, they're always looking down. Or it just might be the way their their face and their eyes are situated on their head. Like the feather blenny right there. Got Soundside Dock in Shell Crushers. Barnacles beware. We're gonna see some tow dog, Bermuda chub, sheep's head, pig fish, spotted pinfish, chub you, and bandtail puffer. This is a recreation of a of a dock pylon. looking fish right there. Nice striped ones. So all these fish in here would be able to bite through the hard shell of the barnacles to consume the barnacles. That's pretty neat. Got Queen Anne's Revenge. Got Blackbeard. See some Florida Pompano, some black drum, Atlantic Kroger, 
loggerhead sea turtle palmetta. Look down. Sergeant Major. Chief's head. And spot tail pinfish. Shipwreck there. Of course, it's a recreation. Got beach curiosities. People will find sand dollars or shark teeth or small shells. Shows you all different stuff that you could find on the beaches. We got some conch shells in there. Just showing the map again. We started here. Got all the stuff outside. Came back in. So I'm right here. We did see this. So after I show you the touch pool, we're gonna go around and complete the rest of the aquarium. You do have a touch tank here, so you want to wash your hands before touching the animals, and again after touching the animals. Yes, and these are live animals. We got lightning whelk, knobbed whelk. Tulip snail, channeled well, got horseshoe crab, and a striped hermit. I'm going to go back to the original. I like trying on a dress. <laughs> look, look, he's trying to get in. Isn't that cool? Now this guy, hey dude, that is not a bigger shell. Look at him. Horseshoe crabs. Yeah, he's over here on the Man, side. Look at that little stinger right by us. <laughs> that stinger's right by us. Well, nothing can hurt you here on the touch pool. You're allowed to touch him with two fingers if you want. There's his eye. Oh, look at that little crab. Look at him. Oh, here's another guy. Such cool looking animals. I had hermit crabs when I was a kid. Because hermit crabs that I had as a kid were the dry kind. This tank has the whelks. Well, uh, one lady was just telling me that whelks keep their shell all throughout their lives. The shell grows with them. It's part of their body, similar to like a turtle is. Unlike uh, like hermit crabs, where I was just showing you where the switch shells, they actually grow with 
Yeah, so her with crabs them. are not born with the shell. Yeah. So they spend their whole life living in someone else's shell. Yeah, and the enemies. Well, they grow in shells like this also? Yep. Okay. Yep. It's once they become empty, once the animal dies, for whatever reason, then of course the shell stops growing. Okay, yeah. And, and then that's when uh, uh, for, uh, for it can't be when they're else. that big, or it can be when they're that big. Yeah. And uh, then the crabs will move in, and as they get bigger, they will possibly look for bigger shells to live in. Okay. And this third area, we got some urchins, some sea stars. Got slate pencil urchin, common sea star, and purple urchin. We even have some uh, an enemy in here also. It's not even listed. The sea stars are really really nice looking. Got Big Rock Theater. There are no showings today. I'm assuming this is going to be uh, throughout the, the summer. There's an interactive kids area over here. Kids can color pictures and add their, their own creation to the screen here. So this has lots of Lots of coloring pages and the markers, crayons. All right, we got Loggerhead Odyssey. Hey, it's a little Loggerhead turtle. Oh my gosh, so cute. Wow. The baby. Most turtles were not survived to reproduce. It's a better look of the loggerhead turtle. We're using single-use plastics. This is a skeleton of an actual loggerhead sea turtle. So I was saying, the shell grows with the animal. A casualty of war. Vessels that were sunk. Got wreck of the Carib Sea. Oh, we got smallmouth grunt. Atlantic bumper. Slippery dick. Coca damsel. Spot fin hogfish. Sergeant major. Black bar soldierfish. Bluehead. Doctor Fish, Spot Fin Porcupine Fish, Blue Tang, Spot Fin Hog Fish, Ocean Surgeon Fish, French Angel Fish, Blue Angel Fish, High Hat, Pork Fish, Stout Moray Eel, and Spanish hogfish. Now this is a fantastic tank. It's three-sided. Gives you different vantage points. Just gives you another example on how sunken ships can create 
fantastic living environments for all of these aquatic life right here. Of course, again, it's a reproduction, but you know. Look at the size of this one right here. No, I am currently looking for the eel. It's okay, come here. It's not. I'm looking for the eel. Eel is most likely going to be inside one of these like, little turrets right there. Or inside one of these uh, crevices. Sometimes I have good luck finding the eels, other times not at all. Get wayward travelers going with the flow. Here to stay. Crevice Dwellers, got Slate Pencil Urshan, Forbes Sea Star, got Red Lip Blenny, Yellowhead Jawfish, Top Spot Cardinal Fish, Cherub Fish, and Nian Gabi. Yeah, black lights that really make these fish really, the colorations really pop. So look closely, place to grow, cracks and crevices, blending in, got lobsters. Oh yes, oh yeah, there's a lobster right there. Yes, sir. That's a good sized lobster. Look at that. Oh man, we got this giant tank right here. It's another shipwreck. Sharks. She paused to read. Got the living shipwreck. Got Bermuda Chub. White Grunt. Gray Snapper. Blue Stripe Grunt. Black Sea Bass. Horse Eye Jack. Gag. Sheep's Head, Mahogany Snapper, Tarpon, Red Drum, Yellow Snapper, Sand Tiger Shark, Sandbar Shark, Crevel Jack, Nurse Shark, and Blue Runner. Wow, we. 
She's got the big fish in here, along with the sharks. Sharky, sharky. Dun, 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 dun. So it shows you how sunken vessels create artificial reefs. Another view of this big giant tank. See a nurse shark down the bottom. More cute, that's a cute shark. And yet another view. It's kind of, it is a curved view. Get a nice view of the nurse shark right here. Sharks on by. Another shark and shark. Got U three fifty two submarine. More information about the Living Shipwreck exhibit. Carolina Reefs. Got a hard bottom ledge. So we're going to see some high hat. 
curly razor fish, butter hamlet, reef butterfly fish, blue angel fish, spot fin butterfly fish, green razor fish, midnight parrot fish, got pork fish, got blue tang adult, and blue tang juvenile, neon gobby, yellowhead wraiths, abu gregory, blue chromus, pudding wife, yellowtail damsel, sharp nosed puffer, and a bicolor damselfish. That says gorgeous tank. I'm just curious who came up with some of these names. A pudding wife. It's just okay. Interesting. There's all sorts of different fish. We got lionfish. Very, very invasive fish. Also, you see some gray angelfish. Sawgrass triggerfish. And a spotted moray. Yeah, lionfish are really cool looking. Oh, that's a cool looking fish right there. See, not all the fish are labeled. This is a rounded tank. Go all the way around it. So cool looking. Again, trying to see the eel. I don't see them. Got beautiful drifters. Got jellies. Let's see the sea nettle. It's got the moon jellies. Got graceful drifters. Five percent water. A couple of the others jellies. Blue button. Ladies comb jelly. Lion's mane and cannibal jelly or cabbage head jelly. That's one of the most dangerous ones for swimmers uh, of the man of war.
Very, very, very painful stings. Got all the moon jellies. Got the sea nettle. For those of you that live near here, they got a new exhibit coming. <laughs> There's spring summer 2025. Information on whales and dolphins. Got Imagination Bay. Another area designed for the little ones. I think got this another little tank over here just for the little ones. Got a dory in there. Uh, that's what all the little kids would be saying. Then you got a yellow tang. Some angelfish. But I don't see any clownfish in here. That's strange. Uh, we have a gift shop. Let's see what we got in here. All sorts of different stuff. Of course, there's going to be lots of different plush. And activity sets. Things for the little ones. Got lots of different shirts. Got books. Other sort of bags. Reusable. Shirts and stuff for the little ones. And lots more plush. Little small things for the little ones. Lots of books. Activity books. And we got magnets. More bags. Now they do have hats here. The nice thing is they say North Carolina aquariums. As I did mention, there are three different aquariums. So I'm going to get one of these. These are $18.99. So I think I'm going to get the green colored one. Instead of I can keep this for when I eventually go to the other two North Carolina aquarium locations. All right, so this was uh, $20.27 with tax. Normally I get a hat uh, first thing, but since gift shop was at the end of the aquarium and there was no way to get to it at the entrance, but now I'll have a hat when I do the other aquariums. All right, everybody, that is gonna do it for my visit to the North Carolina Aquarium uh, Pine Knoll Shores. Had a fantastic time. You see I'm wearing my hat that I just purchased at the gift shop. So I will have this for the other two locations when the time comes for me to visit them. Leave some comments down below what your favorite portion of my visit today was. As I said, there was lots and lots of beautiful fish. So much cool stuff to see. Uh, it was fantastic. It is raining lightly now, so I'm glad I was able to do the outdoor portion uh, before the rain came. I had a feeling it was gonna rain due to the, uh, the strong winds, 
So, not really a big surprise coming outside to see in rain. But, anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I go to places like this, zoos, amusement parks, state parks, uh, quirky roadside attractions all over the country, United States. Upload new videos every Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you like any of that stuff, join my channel. I have hundreds of different videos. Uh, over a thousand hours probably worth of content to keep you entertained. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.